Hello and welcome to another Tech Tip video. Today we will be going over the form tool and its uses in sheet metal. So the first thing you will want to create is the geometry for your form tool. Once this is done, you can go to insert, sheet metal, forming tool. For the stopping face, we will want to select this back face and for the faces to remove, we're going to go ahead and select this circle. You can also specify an insertion point, which will be this blue point that I have located at the origin. The parts in yellow is what will be formed into the sheet metal, whereas the parts in blue will have no effect. Any parts that are in red will be faces that will be removed from the sheet metal, like a punch. Once you are done with your design, you will save this off as a form tool. Here we will go to Save As and change the file type to Form Tool. You will notice that this redirects you to the Design Library file location. Under this, we can go to our Forming Tools folder and into a custom folder that we have created and save our Form Tool. Now this design is ready to be inserted into a sheet metal part. Here inside of our sheet metal part, we can insert this previously created form tool by going into our task pane on the right hand side and under design library we can see we have our forming tools. I can pick the custom folder that we also created and drag and drop in our form tool. Here I can go over the different areas. So first you can specify a different angle that you would like to apply to your form tool or we can leave this at our starting position of zero. You can also flip the form tool to have the form inserted from the back end. If you've designed your form tool with multiple configurations, you can select these now. This is typically used for different sizes of forms. You can also choose to leave it linked to the original form tool document so that when the form tool is updated in the future, your design on your sheet metal part will also be updated. Lastly, what we can specify is what is shown in the sheet metal flat pattern. Here it defaults to showing the punch, but we can override this and remove this feature if you wish. We can also change the position of the form tool by going up to position and looking at the insertion point that we previously have. Here I will go ahead and center this form tool. Once you are done, you can press the green check mark. We now have our form tool inserted into our sheet metal part.